Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to build a brand new rig. It's going to be a 6x RX a 6600 XT rig, a super efficient little AMD build that I nickname the Grunt Build. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew! Welcome! Today we are going to try to build the most efficient six card rig you can possibly build. We're going to try to tune this thing down as much as possible, pull the wattage down as far as possible, and try to crank the mega hash as much as possible. Today we're building a 6x RX 6600 XT build. All right, so let's go over the full parts list of this build. I went ahead and pre-assembled the frame, the rig itself, without the cards in it. I have just a cheap six GPU mining rig frame. I've got four 120 millimeter fans on here. RGB, of course, because we all know RGB adds hash rate. Then I have a 850 watt EVGA gold power supply that should power the entire rig and still have a little headroom on top of it then i have a gigabyte z370 motherboard with just a cheap intel celeron g5420 cpu with stock cooler i have eight gigabytes of ddr4 ram just a 2400 megahertz low speed that's all you need and i have a 120 gigabyte crucial ssd for the operating system with a generic two dollar push button toggle that takes care of the main build now let's get into the fun part for this build i'm using six different rx 6600 xt models from five different aib manufacturers these two are sapphire i got the sapphire pulse I have the Sapphire Nitro Plus. Then I have an XFX Merc 309. I have an ASRock Challenger RX 6600 XT. I have a Gigabyte Eagle RX 6600 XT. And the crown jewel is that I have a Power Color Red Devil RX 6600 XT. Four of these came from Newegg. I got one from Best Buy and one from Amazon. Most of them I paid around MSRP, but from launch time till now, MSRP, as we all know, has consistently risen in price because that's the world we're living in. I think that goes over to completes parts list, so let's quit gabbing. Let's put this thing together. <laughs> tweaked it's tuned it's set up fully it's running like a top look at that she's a pretty little rig let's take a look at what we see on the screen it's a little difficult to see but there we are we're running at 188 mega hash and it's been running for a while it's solid it's running about 31.4 mega hash per card all accepted shares all valids no invalids at least on the minor and let's see how much power we're using and there we are 485 watts at the wall 
So it's pretty efficient. Not quite as efficient as my man Red Panda, but he is in Hive and you can definitely get this thing a little more efficient in Hive. We're gonna go ahead and move this to its final location and then we'll remote to it and we'll do some final tweaking and tuning and go over some numbers. All right, all right, so here we are. We're over in our remote session. We're taking a look at our rig. This thing has been up and hashing for quite the many days. It is running really efficient and it's running really stable. I had to kick down the overclocks a little. Each card's running around 31.4 mega hash and the power is running between 54 and 61 watts per card. So about 188 mega hash total. Now let's go look at our nerdy numbers. All right, so here we are. We got our total numbers. We got all the cards. We got the prices, the mega hash, the power used. In the top left, it shows each card, the make, the model, the mega hash, the power, the cost and then I got a total and then I went over to this top right here and then we put our total cost of our GPUs was three thousand seventy six dollars and the total rig parts for the rest of the build counting the power supply the frame the rises yada yada I'm gonna estimate around 500 because this is a rather a cheaper build so then our total would come to 3,576 total cost on this little cute mini rig, super efficient rig. Our total hash rate on this rig is 188.52 mega hash on 480 watts, which is really efficient. Um, then here down below, we went ahead and plugged this into what to mine. We put our mega hash, our electricity cost, and of course the power used. And then we calculated this thing out. And at this time of recording on 12, 23 2021 20, this thing is making eleven dollars and 76 cents worth of ethereum per day and then after electric cost my electric cost of 11 cents per kilowatt hour i am actually getting 1049 profit per day from this little rig and that sounds yeah that sounds not too bad but let's plug it in and see how many days it would take to actually pay off this rig so we put in our total rig cost, counting everything in the rig, $35.76. We're earning profit, $10.49 per day. That would ROI this rig in 341 days if all things were equal, if it stayed exactly how it is right now. Ethereum didn't go up, Ethereum didn't go down. I made the same amount every day, 341 days. Not too great. So yeah. 341 days, eh, not that great, but the power usage is very slim. This thing will be paid off. We're just gonna mine it till the wheels fall off. So let's go ahead and cut to that outro. <laughs> well, there you have it. The RX 6600 XT, the grunt build is up and alive. Man, this is an efficient little card. I love these cards. I'm gonna make some future content on all the individual cards and we're gonna test them. We're gonna put them all through the rounds. If you're new to mining or you just need some help, make sure to join the Misfit Mining Discord. There's plenty of seasoned veterans in there willing to help you out. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.